Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where we're still near the hot labs in Novaria on this icy planet and we're gonna talk to Han Olar who's the only survivor of the hot labs themselves not just like the general labs. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Uh, Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet Oh, guy. shut up. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, he's not insane. Definitely not. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on you. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. It it's an incredibly difficult situation, right? Like, I, do you both die or only one of you dies? And then the person left has to deal with it, you know? Like, it's not... What can you say, you know? Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want yeah, absolution? Yeah, he's not. There is none. Like, I don't know. He's, he's accepted, kind of, I think, what happened. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Yeah. <laughs> no, so this is actually huge, right? Because the Rachni are supposed to have been dead for the last, like, I don't know, 800 years? Maybe a little less? Maybe a little more? Um, and they were like unstoppable killing machines, right? And this lab found a freaking egg with like a viable queen still left in it because the only way they can you can make more of them and freaking you just like they just freaking made made a bunch of ragni who are extremely fast breeding and a, all uh, at, po at this point all that we know is that they're extremely violent and aggressive you know so it's like, what, it's like, again, it's like the whole Aliens plot, you know, where it's like a big corporation's like, no, yeah, we could definitely make this work for us. We could definitely make a weird super soldier that only obeys us. I'm like, has that worked in the history of ever, like, for reals? <laughs> like, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it's frustrating, but uh, this man is a very, Han Olar is a very solemn figure, I feel like, in Mass Effect. You actually do hear from him. In two and maybe three? I think in three, yeah. I think he does end up finding some way to absolve himself, if I, at least in his eyes and potentially in other people's eyes. His survival was cruel. He watched a woman that he knew get shredded to pieces, and maybe he could have saved her, but also he's still alive, you know? Like, how do you, like, weigh one life versus another? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You could go into a whole philosophical thing about it, but, like, I just I just feel bad for the man. Like, he's... I think he's just... He's still kind of... He's, he's not, like, he's in shock, kind of, but just, like, a very clear, like, icy clear kind of shock, in a way. But also, like, extremely traumatized. And, like, he does go to therapy. Like, you hear from him, I think, in two? I, don't, I think it's in two and not in one that he's gone to therapy, so... It's good to know. Could Matriarch Venezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. They're not sensitive to my shotgun. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. 
At least this particular shotgun. Hey, look, a new shotgun. Dang it. Like, this is supposed to do so much damage, and yet it, it doesn't seem like it does that much damage. Even though I can fire very quickly. Let's see. Oh, frick. I want that. <laughs> I guess I haven't been using it a ton, but I get the best stuff. doing the assault rifle thing which is kind of hilarious honestly oh, hey. that yeah it's two of them oh sure why not This is the... Okay, that's the... Then what was that other room? Rick, if I remember, the restricted area. I'm 90% sure it's a way outside. Stop fondling yourself, Liara. Don't let those men control you. Alright, we need to go talk to the guy, the big honcho. And the, well, you know, the head honcho, I guess, for what's left of this place. I feel like there was something to that place. Hey! Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra <laughs> guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. Thanks, man. I've got work to do. <laughs> I'm. You and me. We both. like freaking shake hands, and then though sometimes Shepard seems needlessly like aggressive <laughs> with certain things, like like I like the I have to leave now type lines. And uh, no, no, was I didn't. Yes. Here, quarantine and barracks. I want Colossus armor. It's the coolest looking armor in the game. It's to be fair, it doesn't look nearly as cool on me as it does on Tally, but. You know, you win some, you lose some. Hey, bud, let me in. You're not part of the. Hey, crew. good call. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. What do you want? Oh, never mind. Nothing. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, right. Bye, guy. Don't mind me. I'm also an expert at, um, science in general, and I can make this gear. He did say, to be fair, that our, um, I think I'm good on Medigel. That the, all the notes and stuff were already down there. So I guess I could read the Technically, though, what I'd probably do is have Liara do it. Or, like, like Liara and Tally in combo. They could do it. Like, Tally by herself could do it. 
they are by ourselves to do it, so. Oh, yes! A Colossus armor for the Krogan! Yes. I say the Krogan like there are multiple, but they're not. So. <laughs> what am I trying? I'm trying to save. Let's just... More chemicals, they must be mixed in precise quantities as each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amounts that will work. Too much or too little will spoil the result. Okay. Oh, I'm, ah, it goes faster. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm clicking too fast. Whew, did it. Your mission ends here. Yeah, Shepard. uh huh. I thought she seemed odd. What happened to Ventralis' man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Sometimes you get those like uh, the options to go to the left, and they don't always let you go back to the right again, which can be frustrating in my personal opinion. Machine's broken. Good thing I made the cure already. They came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Oh, wait, is the hot labs? Oh, the hot labs is separate. I'm actually going to save and go down there first. Because the hot labs is technically... Well, no, it isn't. I don't know. I, I might be mixing things up. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. I swear where Benezia is is different, and the particular place that we go down the elevator to get into is where we can eliminate the Rachni, but that we're not supposed to do that until a certain event that happens after, like, meeting Benezia. I don't know. I don't know, man. I've played these games a million times, but... There's always something where I'm like, is it this way or that way? I have the cure. Is that the cure? <laughs> that sorry attack. That a sorry scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... <laughs> I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. 
I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. These guards couldn't have known I was coming, but potentially... I mean, like, obviously... Was her name Benezia and Saren knew I was gonna be coming here eventually, but why they would tell these guards is beyond me. Because the guy didn't know, the head guy Ventralis didn't know, and he's like, please stay here and help. Mm, I'm gonna hurt someone. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass, but there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what did he <laughs> say? You saved their lives, do you know that? I mean, I'm glad, but apparently I can, I can get some Metagel even, but I don't need any. Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. It's like meta gel, but I was actually all full up. Plus 24 paragon. Oh, by the way, I did um, get the achievement. As little as the achievements kind of mean anything now, but they do mean something to me because I'm a completionist. Uh, but I got the one that's 75% of paragon or renegade choices. All right, we're good. There's nothing there to click on, just tally. So now I can get into maintenance. But because that's where I saw, or that's where Han Olar saw. And there's something apparently back there that Saren doesn't want people to be finding, potentially. I don't know what's back there. I, like, it's just a way out. Outside. Um, I'm gonna go... Down to the labs first. Like, through the elevator. Because I swear there's a way to get down there by tanking the maintenance shaft. Like, we had, like, I thought it was that, that was gonna be the only way to get into the hot labs because the hot labs are locked. I swear that's how it's been in the past, but he just gave me the pass. He just gave me the Outlands pass. He was like, here you go. So I'm actually just going to do it the traditional way I've always done it, which is where you do this part first. <laughs> where you don't go down to the hot labs straight away. You go, you go follow, because it, it does make more sense to like follow. Like I, if I was gonna go down to the hot labs immediately, I should have done it as soon as he gave me the path. I shouldn't have come in here. But that's what I'm used to, because it's usually that it's like not that it's like harder. I thought, but since that is directly where the Geth came from, plus at least one Asari commando, I'm gonna go. Is this? Is it through there? Yeah. Go on outside. Like, I don't know if they just made this whole section easier in the remake or if I'm just misremembering things. I feel like it hasn't been that long since I played this game. I guess I didn't play it all last year in anticipation. In anticipation for the Legendary Edition coming out, but I played it the year before. Yeah, this is the way into the restricted area. Okay, so we go through here. Boop, 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 boop. Ish. Am I right or wrong? I don't know.
left one poor sucker behind. If this is just the other way, oh no, this is, this is a lab. This is not a, not the hot labs. It is a lab. People are like, oh man, it'll be so cool to watch this from the perspective of somebody who's played it before and knows what she's doing. No, it's all a lie. I have no idea what I'm doing ever. Only a vague idea. Oh jeez, see this is... I always forget she's just right there. <laughs> Save! You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara is here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. And none of that happens if, um... Obviously if Liara's not there. I don't even think she brings up Liara on her own. not nearly enough Venezia Liara lore. Like, they're not gonna have, like, she's not gonna do, like, any sort of nothing, like, no talking, no... Like, I mean, she did a little bit, but it wasn't nearly enough for, like, a reunion with, like, a potentially evil mother and her, like, conflicted daughter, you know? Venezia should have done is just thrown everybody at me all at once. Then I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> and why is her power tied to ah? Tied to her friends. Surrounded. 
who's here? Who is close to me? I cannot tell. Oh, jeez. Well, that went this is uh, way easier. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Mm -hmm. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control? Convenient. Now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy Convenient. him. It will not last long. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold Meh. object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Oh, yeah. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the Mu Relay? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. That a matriarch I was taken over the data to an OSD. is huge. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. She's cold. Do you know where he planned to go from there? She's cold. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should. Oh, you should. Mother, I... Don't leave! Fight him! You've always made me proud, Liara. And now we have to kill your mom! Die! And uh, this part isn't like super terrible or anything, but it is terrible, like. What? I, I was pressing the heal button. About a, I'm just, don't mind me, just eating my words. Don't, just, it's dinner time anyway. 
Oh, thanks for taking that. No more biotics for you. Enough of that. Man, I really don't like that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. I mean, I I feel like we should be able to, like, help her. I don't know. She's so powerful. Like, we can't help her. She had to go somewhere to get, like, undoctrinated. But as we see later on, it's really difficult for that to actually happen. I don't know if anyone's been unindoctrinated successfully, really. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. What if we kill him? I'm not entirely myself. I never will be again. We could lock you up somewhere. But this has to be ultra dramatic for Liara. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Their relationship is so confusing. They always said there would be a... <sighs> And that's ultra depressing, is she, like, she dies thinking there's, like, you know, more, and then this is supposed to kind of, I don't know, imply there isn't? I think there's, there's gotta be something. Okay, sorry to cut it off so abruptly there, but, uh, unfortunately, the video went on a little bit long, so I had to cut it off somewhere. So it's kind of at the end there, it, there's a natural kind of break there, and then we move on to the next scene. Um, but yes, so... Thank you all so much for watching. This is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. Uh, I want to say thank you so much to Scalamunger, a sapling tier patron, whose support and I appreciate very much. <laughs> I say support and appreciation. I appreciate very much. I guess that works. Um, but I also want to say thank you to Reese Galita, who is also a sapling patron over on Patreon. And I really do appreciate your support, Reese Galito. Thank you so much. <laughs> um... And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree level patron over on Patreon. I'm going to try to keep this short uh, because the video has already gone all along. Anyway, uh, but thank you all so much for watching um, and supporting me um, on Patreon, those of you who can. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thank you all again and thank you everybody for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.